जय संस्कार इन दिस सेगमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हेटेरो एटम और फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज दैट विल यू बी माय फ्रेंड वी नो दैट कार्बन हैज अ वेरी फ्रेंडली नेचर व्हाट डज दिस मींस दिस मींस दैट कार्बन इज एबल टू मेक अ बॉन्ड विद अदर एलिमेंट्स इजीली द टेट्रावेलेंसी एज वेल एज स्मॉलर साइज एंड covalent bonding these are the main features of carbon element therefore it is able to combine with oxygen sulfur chlorine hydrogen oxygen etc so right now what we are saying we are talking about hetero atom hetero atom that is a atom which is able to replace the hydrogen from carbon chain and because of presence of this hetero atom the entire property of carbon chain is going to get affected physical property are also going to get affected as well as the chemical property because of the presence of the functional group so the atom which is replacing hydrogen from the carbon chain is called hetero atom examples are chlorine bromine or oxygen so let's just talk about the functional group sometimes this hetero atoms like chlorine would chlorine would be alone be considered as a functional group well if we are talking about oxygen there is a variety like there is a alcohol al, uh, aldehyde ketone or carboxylic acid let's just talk about it what happens this certain elements two or three elements combine together and if they stick to any other carbon chain then they are going to affect the entire property of that particular carbon chain so if hydrogen is attached it is called chloro or bromo bromine next is oxygen oxygen has two valency one is connected one electron is shared with hydrogen while another one is free this particular oxygen will replace hydrogen from long carbon chain it could be ethane methane propane butane anyone okay and replace one hydrogen and instead of that hydrogen's place this entire alcohol group would be present and what are the kind of changes this particular group functional group is going to add let's see this hetero atoms and group containing this confirm specific properties that means if whether it is a hetero atoms itself or group they contain this confer specific properties to the compound so they are able to give this specific property to the compound regardless of the length and nature of carbon chain hence they are called functional group it doesn't matter how long the carbon chain is it could be nane uh, nane it could be decan or uh, anything like that okay so it is going regardless of length and nature it is going to confer specific property to this carbon chain next example is aldehyde carbon is attached to one hydrogen one part is open with at this particular point any other element you know other carbon chain it will going to pull out one hydrogen atom and instead of that hydrogen atom this entire functional group is going to be attached so these two would be at the end part if we are talking about ketone ketone would be at the center of anything <coughs> okay so if something like this happen that particular pro- compound is called ketone this functional group is called carboxylic acid okay so the free valency of group are shown by a single line this shows the free valency free valency over here another compound is going to get attached carboxylic acid always at the end same goes with goes with Uh, alcohol same goes with halogen same goes with aldehyde ketone could be somewhere in between okay <coughs> our next topic is homologous series a series which is containing similar kind of object or each two member of this particular series are different by certain constant amount then we can call this as a homologous series 
for example methane and ethane are differ by one carbon and two hydrogen so molecular mass difference of between methane and ethane is 12 unit of carbon and 2 unit of hydrogen so they differ by 14 <coughs> atomic mass unit okay if we talk about ethane and propane we know na if there is a one carbon methane two carbon ethane three carbon propane four carbon butane so these all are different by one ch2 that means 14 unit of mass so if we try to confer that these proper these particular members of this particular series are differ by a constant amount okay so over here molecular mass is increasing and melting point is also increasing due to that boiling point is also increasing so as the molecular mass increases gradation is seen what is gradation either all all member will show a same or different kind of change if molecular mass is increasing for first member then it is going to increase for second third and like that okay uh next is melting point and boiling point okay so it is going to affect the melting as well as boiling point generally due to increase in molecular mass these two property are also going to increase so we don't use this kind of word in certain homologous series this uh, melting and boiling point increases sometime it is decreases so we what we will say there is a change so for change the better word is gradation so as the molecular mass is increasing gradation is seen in what in what parameters gradation is seen in melting point boiling point solubility these all property will so gradation in it but the chemical property depend only on the functional group so the chemical property how do they react with other element or compound that is generally decided by the functional group present in this particular and this functional group show a similar property whether is it is if we are talking about alcohol methanol and ethanol will show same kind of chemical property with other compound or a element same goes with aldehyde methanol ethanol or propanol will show same kind of reactivity with the another one so the chemical property is the main feature that is describing the nature of this particular compound so functional group decides the chem chemical properties okay okay so that's all for now in next uh, so you can also confirm homologous series formula over here formula for alkene the formula for alkenes so you can understand it by like simplest alkene let's let me write alkene is methane or ethane let's just write it like this okay and over here hydrogen 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 and hydrogen so we will have one carbon and hydrogen four if we have two carbon then hydrogen would be six so the formula is c n h 2 n let's see one 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 two za two we need four so we will just add plus two c one h two one za two plus two four C is equal to two. Two two is a four plus two six. Let's just talk about alkene. The chemical formula for it. Alkene has this two bond, double bond. Okay. Carbon has a tetravalency. So we can say this one, or let's just say 
this one so over here 1 2 1 2 3 3 carbon 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 over here carbon 2 hydrogen 4 so formula for alkene is c n h 2 n so we have derived formula for alkene and alkene now you may derive it yourself the formula of alkyl group okay that is also a homologous series so you can do it by yourself so that's all for now thank you